Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel Count Your Blessings. Hope you all are doing good. Well, today I'm taking part in the Using Trash to Create Treasure Challenge hosted by Casey from Coffee with My Sunshine and her co-host for this month Heidi from Happy Thriving Heidi. I'll link their channels and the playlist in the description box. Please be sure to check it out to get a lot of inspiration. Now without further ado, let's get started. For my first project, I'm using these empty bottles. I sprayed them clean. And then I cut them up. I cut the, all the four flaps on one box and all the four flaps on one side on the other box. I stacked them one on top of the other and hot glued them. I'm going to make a shoe stand. And I used the extra bits that I cut out to add more stability to the box. And then in order to cover the holes and to give it a better look, I wrapped it up with the normal newspaper. I stopped at this step but you can uh, paint it or cover it up with wrapping paper or contact paper, whichever you like. This is a two-tiered stand. This is how it was looking. And ta -da -da -da. this place looks so much better now. The shoes are all organized. I have uh, decided to uh, reuse this uh, bag, cloth bag. I'm not sure what material it, material it is, but it is uh, one where we get groceries with. And uh, I was inspired by uh, Mekina. I'll uh, link her channel in the description box. She reminds me of the Olsen twins. Let me know your thoughts on it. Um, she did uh, tie-dye with uh, bleeding paper or art tissue paper and uh, since I did not have tissue paper I thought I'll try it out with these party streamers these were the, the only two colors that I had red and blue and I'm gonna try doing that with this let's see how it goes for this the fabric has to be wet therefore I ran it under cold water under the tap and squeezed out the excess water I also have a spray bottle on hand and then you take the streamers or tissue paper whichever you have and lay them out in whatever pattern you like I just randomly uh, tore the sheet and placed them on on the fabric and I added uh, more water so that the uh, tissue paper wouldn't fly sorry the streamers wouldn't fly was open so they were all flying away and so I had to add spray more water on it and this was the pattern that I had uh, created in my head I had a very nice vision of it but what we think does not happen always so I let it sit for a few hours and you can see the colors already starting to bleed so after a few hours, the red is almost done, the blue still has a little bit of color on it and I removed the tissue paper. And uh, actually you're supposed to remove it and then uh, run it under cold water. Uh, rinse it out till the water runs clear. and. Uh, as luck would have it when I did that. You can see that the red is really nice and bright over here but uh, when I ran it under water the red totally washed out and I was just left with the cloth with the blue designs on it and so I did the next best thing. Then I tried to 
also from the high setting so that is the really reason i had dryer and the air was hot so actually they say you are supposed to iron it i use this hair dryer instead and then i hung it up to dry uh for the second time i didn't rinse it out for fear that the red will again bleed out but i just uh, set it with the hair dryer actually you can iron it but uh, i used a hair dryer instead and a bag is ready you can either use it as a bag or else in this lockdown situation as we can't go out anywhere use it as a cushion cover and turn to the dark Mekna said that uh, it works well with cotton fabric so maybe I should give that a try next time hope you liked it thank you for watching until next time take care god bless bye bye smile jesus loves you don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and please be sure to check the playlist for all the other lovely entries bye bye